Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our last video, we have seen how we can use the West client put example and there were some other examples as well like West client delete, post and get as well are there in this playlist. Okay, so here my application is up and running. So let me try to hit from the uh, end point here. So I have this, my application is running at 9013, right? 9013 port, yes. And if I hit it, I'm getting the response, which is cool. This is an integer type. So this is a long, some number type, right? So let me pass something called a string here. And if I pass it, I'm not getting any response. The basically here, are we handling any sort of exceptional exception, you know? No, right. And we are hitting this end point. And sometimes that end point could be down because it is hosted on the server and the server could be down. Are we checking that from our client side only? We might be passing some invalid data. Uh, so are we checking those items? No, right. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn that one thing. Okay. So simply use the existing one and let's try to modify few details okay student info with exception let me keep it as handling okay so here um, so simply use rest client put and uri and body we are setting till here we are what we are doing is covered okay here what we can do is instead of retrieve there is a one more call exchange okay this exchange method we are going to handle okay so this exchange method will be a will need a lambda expression okay here let me take a request and response variables okay here as part of this lambda expression what we can do is if response dot here you have the get status code right dot if you see here 400 for xx that means all the status code comes under 400 will come here 400 401 some some status codes right so those are nothing but our client objects from our client said there is some sort of an exception but our server is up and running okay so when it is something like this what you can do you can throw some exception something like invalid object exception something like that i am taking out you can take ibo exception as well okay so let's say like invalid object because in our case when we are sending a string instead of a long other number type we found that right so that's why i have taken this one okay how else if let's say like response dot get status code what is that get status code dot is 5xx server error that means there is something to do with server side not from the client side okay so in that case you can you can handle that sort of an exception as well as you can see here we have some server exception so like server is down okay instead of this I would suggest you to create a custom exception and you can use that exception as well and set accordingly. Okay. If both of them are not there, that means response is coming properly. Right. So I am getting the response here. Okay. And this is here. Get body. This is my response. But I need to convert this into the understandable format, right? So I know that response when I'm giving properly, the response will be uh, something this this format, which is nothing but a pojo which I have created, which is a student info pojo. Okay, having ID, name, hobby, and all. Okay, so my that means what I need to do is this body. I need to convert into the student info. What I need to do, I can simply use object mapper, right? So let's say like object mapper is equal to new object mapper of this, then object mapper 
dot read value will be there okay this read value what it does is it will take two parameters first parameter is what is a value and the second parameter is in which format you want to convert this to i am converting this to student info dot class format okay this is done and this object read value is returning me student info okay which is okay okay now i simply need to return my student info object okay this is correct right now this since it is returning me student info i need to modify that accordingly okay i have this properly here i can simply return my where this is getting closed here right so i can simply return here my student yep so this is up and running now simply keep here exception handling and uh, update your controller method properly now let me debug this okay let me try to debug this put a you know entry here and there's a one more here okay something like this so that i will also try